Hello and welcome to your not so local, not so radio station, AWKWARV. I'm your host, Skypaws, and I'm here at the beach. So, hello everybody, I'm here at the beach. Unfortunately, it's not Ashby's beach, but it's still the beach. Ashby, I have a question for you. What are all these little holes? There are little holes, and then there are slightly bigger holes. And then there are really big holes. There are crows. And my goodness, the seashells. And we have people as well. And waves. And lots of teeny tiny thousand little holes. I don't know if you can see them because I can't see the screen because it's so bright out. But there are lots of little holes everywhere at the beach. Here's one right here. Ashby, I also have a newfound respect for how you did your first intro with the waves because it's difficult. Oh, another question for Ashby, and I'm sorry I don't have any questions for anybody else, but I'm at the beach. What causes the black sand to separate from the other sand? It appears that there are multiple kinds of sand because the orange sand is also differentiated from the white sand and the differentiated black sand. Why does it do this, Ashby? I don't know. I'm here on the beach, like I said before, and I have some Krabby Patty gummies. I'm going to eat one. Mom says they're terrible. I don't believe her. They're pussy. They do come in little strips, I guess, like an actual sandwich. Let's take a bite. I just got a thing of sand. Not bad. Not real bad. I hear there's a snake up here, guys. And there it is. This way. Oh my. What kind of a snake is that, Ashby? His tail is light. Slithering one. <laughs> yeah, he's moving. Yep, yep. Okay. Oh, golly, 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 golly. He's big. He's coming this way. Go! <laughs> Please go! Oh my god. Did you get it? That was a snake. I just wanted to give a quick update about my cactus while we're here at the beach because I brought it with me. It's because heaven knows. It needs the sun. Um, I think that this little new growth has killed this bottom leaf, but the good news is, is that I think I can see some little roots or something growing into the leaf, so that even though this one's dead, I don't think the one above it is, so I'm probably going to wind up planting it below the ground so that these roots can spread out and get some, get some, uh, some nutrients and stuff. So there's the new little growth. It's been sitting in the window over here.